The next question, the member for Scarborough Guildwood. Thank you, Speaker. This question is for the Premier. Last week, the FAO released its latest report on Ontario's labour market. Ontario lost 355,300 jobs in 2020, the largest decline on record. Youth unemployment dropped to its lowest level in 20 years, while their, sorry, youth employment dropped to its lowest level in 20 years, while their unemployment rate skyrocketed to 22 percent, the highest on record. Statistics Canada's Labour Force survey, to no surprise, shows that the most impacted groups are Black, Indigenous and people of colour, women and youth. The K recovery in Ontario is a direct result of this government's inaction. As each month goes by in this pandemic, all of Ontario's youth can expect that they are further and further behind in this economic recession with no relief in sight. Question. A core economic strength is our people, Speaker. My question is, in the budget coming up, will this government reverse its cuts to OSAP and for post-secondary education and free tuition? Thank you. To respond, the Minister of Labour. Training and skills development. Thank you very much, and I know the parliamentary assistant uh, to colleges and university uh, will want to speak to this as well. But, Mr. Speaker, one of uh, the things that we can all be proud of in Ontario is the government's commitment to getting young people uh, into the skilled trades. Mr. Speaker, there are literally hundreds of thousands of opportunities over the next uh, 10 years for people uh, in the skilled trades. I'm really proud of our government's historic investments into pre-apprenticeship programs. Uh, to the member that asked this question, a pre-apprenticeship program gives an opportunity uh, to young people to uh, try the trades for a period of uh, 12 weeks uh, to uh, get a work placement. And Mr. Speaker, I'm really excited to share with this House that on Sunday night, I had a great call from a young lady uh, in Toronto, Natisha. Uh, in her words, Mr. Speaker, she uh, was Response. on welfare. She was a single mom. She got an opportunity to join the trades. She is now an iron worker. And Mr. Speaker, she is earning $44.08 an hour, and she has pension wow. and hey, benefits. Hey, hey, hey. The supplementary question. Speaker, we didn't hear an answer because this government is not prioritizing the needs of youth. Last week's FAO report highlighted another troubling trend when it comes to women in this province. Women experienced a 5.8 per cent job loss compared to men at 3.9 per cent. The she session continues to deepen, with a large amount of job losses for women happening in the cultural and recreational sectors. All the service sectors, Speaker, are hardest hit by this pandemic and these jobs are not coming back soon. If this government does not start to value the work women are doing in the workforce in Ontario, we will see more women drop out of the job market altogether. We need to start to value women and the contribution that they make. The care economy, which includes health care, elder care, are more importantly staffed by women and require more supports, like early learning and childcare. Speaker, will this government tell us where on the list of priorities is the investment going to be made in this budget into the care economy so that women can have equal economic opportunity and can recover fully from this? Thank you. Yeah. Of Labor. Mr. Speaker, thank you to the member opposite for this very important question. Uh, Mr. Speaker, our, our government every day is working to spread hope and opportunity across the province more widely and fairly. We know that good, meaningful jobs uh, uh, change lives. They strengthen families and all of our communities. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I'm proud of our redesigned second career program that we launched uh, back uh, late last year. $77 million investment to uh, really focus on those that have been impacted uh, by the pandemic. Mr. Speaker, you know, I have many young people, many women come up to me and they say that in Ontario, because of previous governments neglecting the apprenticeship system, they'll say to me, um, you know, Monty, I know to become uh, a teacher, I know to become a lawyer, but I have no idea uh, how to get in, into the trades. And Mr. Speaker, it's up to Response. all of us to tell the young people the opportunities available in the skilled trades. There's 144 to choose from, and our government is investing record amounts of money to give people the Thank you. Stop the clock. Stop the clock. There's quite a conversation going down, uh, down the, the end of the chamber, and I'd ask you to wait a few minutes and maybe take it outside. 
The next question, start the clock, member for Niagara Falls.